The five seed in the 3A softball bracket, Santa Fe Trail looking for an upset over top seeded Haven in the semifinals to start the day. Reigning 3A pitcher of the year, Peyton Garner was fantastic on the mound, notching 19 strikeouts, just one walk and one hit, and right there, that was the go-ahead home run. They won two nothing to play in the championship game against one of these folks coming up right now. It's six seed Rossville. They got off to a hot start against two seed southeast of Saline. They got up to a three nothing lead. The Dogs with some clutch hitting, but then the Trojans they mull their way back and tie it up at three. But the Dogs take it up in the top of the seventh. They add two more to the board. Kenzie Piran's going to slide it on home. They're going to secure a trip to the championship with a six four upset win. Now over in Manhattan, there's the six seed Rossville and five seed Santa Fe Trail found themselves vying for a 3A state title. And though it took a little while to get going on the board, the Dogs were able to capitalize on a big inning here. Kenzie Piran with the hit, scoring Ryan Leathers just in time. That's immediately fouled by Piran herself making it home. It's 2-0 Dogs, and that's going to stay the same score. Rossville is going to take the state title for the first time in 23 years. Clearly, obviously, a very happy team. Brindley Deitch was phenomenal in the circle, not only pitching a shutout in the championship game, but pitching in the semifinal game today as well. It's a great way to go out. It's my last game ever. And it was, I just couldn't imagine a different way. Sad, happy, everything. It was just like, kind of didn't feel real. I feel really good. It's been 23 years since we've won one for the town and well, it's much needed to get one back for them. Last year we came out and we didn't perform the way we knew we could have. And it just means everything that we came out this year and turned it around and we, knew, we turned it on. I'm so happy. Again, Rossville state winners for the first time in 23 years.